Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus Christ is Lord. Lord. Amen. Amen. And you know who the best part in God. Yes. He don't make yes. mistakes. He don't do things out of fear or out of frustration. He think he always when he do something, he do it from love. Amen. Amen. That you never find God doing things to us out of frustration and fear. And more in this dispensation we are living, in this dispensation of Christ, in this dispensation of grace, okay? Because God, Jesus is our intercessor, okay? But God not dealing with us like any deal with people in the Old Testament, okay? God dealing with us in a different place, okay? Understand that, amen? Hallelujah, God love you, and I love you too, amen? Open your Bible in John chapter 10. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Say amen. Are you there? Amen. Thank you, Lord. In John chapter 10, we start in verse 1. Most actually, that means that is, trust me, <laughs> be sure they want to tell you the truth, because it is the truth. Most actually, I said to you, he who does not enter the chief fold by the door, but climbs up some other way, they say is a thief. And a robber. Amen? Amen. Who is speaking here? Our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen? Verse 2. But, but, he who enters, this is the contrast, but he who enters by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. To him the doorkeeper opens and the sheep hear his voice. He called his own sheep by the name and lead them out. Amen? Amen. Okay. We are children of God. Amen. We are born again. Right? He knows each one of by our own name. Yes. We're not stranger for him. Okay? He knows you, he knows. He knows me, he knows you. Okay. Very well. Hallelujah. Okay? Hallelujah. No us back. You know, when I have, you know, things with God, like we call it encounter, whatever you want to call it. He called me by my name. Or he called me the way that feels secure, that's him. You see. Okay. He knows very well. Say. The Lord know me very well. The Lord knows me very well. Amen. Amen. And when he brings out his own sheep, he goes before them. See? He goes before them, but why? Because he's guiding, he leads. You, you see that? Before them. God go before us. Amen. The Lord go before us. He leading, he guiding. So we have to follow his guide, his leadership. We have to follow in the path he, he showing to us. Amen. Amen. He go before them and the sheep follow him. <laughs> Come on. Are you his sheep? Come on. His sheep follow him. Amen. That's Will you right. follow? Who are you following? You hear that? Amen. So the Bible? Yes. Sheep follow him. That's good. You see that? Sheep follow him. Let, me, let, let that word sink and your heart. Amen? Amen. Meditate in that. Hallelujah. 
for they know his voice. <laughs> you see? Why you follow? Because you know his voice. Amen? You know the voice, the voice of God. For they know his voice. Okay? And you know, the word of God, the word of God, the Bible, is the voice of God. Amen. You know that, right? Mm -hmm. You have to follow. You want to follow him? You have to believe his word and keep it. That way we follow him now because we don't see him in the flesh. We follow him by the spirit. Yes. Okay? Then he leave us his word to follow who love me, keep my word. Amen. Yeah, that the you a chip. You his chip. What you do? Follow his voice, his word. Yes. Right? Amen. Amen. Yet. Oh, when I say amen, I remember it, friend. <laughs> they say, Enrique, don't say too much, amen. Because you know, they don't say no, nah, hallelujah, amen. Why? You see, because they want to take everything. They want to sound the way everybody relate, you know. They call the thing they are from us Christians, man. They feel embarrassed for the things of Christ, man. Yet, they will by no means follow a stranger that will flee from him. You see, you know the Lord Jesus. You know his voice. You don't follow different doctrines. Come on. You run away from those characters. Yes. See? But you hear those stranger voice. You don't go toward that stranger voice. You run away from it. Yes. You, you only go to the voice of the master, to his yes. word. Yes. You see? I, I, I don't know what's your vision when dream it was so vivid to me. It's a, the dream, it's a guy who was coming with the chips, you know. They were there, like several chips there, they were eating grabs, and a guy came and called it then, and the chip looked. But I man, and I could see the faith that man was, you know. I knew it wasn't the shepherd and the dream on the vision that I have and the sheep knew too. They looked at them and they ran. And they were calling man. Sheep, sheep, come, come. And they looked at them. You're not my shepherd. They boom, ran away. The same way we have to. And you know the Lord was teaching me. You know my voice, you don't run to a stranger's voice. Many Christians, they, they're running after a stranger voice, a stranger sounds. They go, sound good. They make me feel good. They are not the shepherd. They are not his voice. Come on. Because you know the voice of all your shepherd, the Lord Jesus Christ, you know, run after a stranger voice. After strange sounds, river fire. Yes, they will by no means follow a stranger, but will flee from him, for they do not know the voice of a stranger. You hear God's word. This, the Bible, the gospel, that's what you have to hear. If you, have, you say, I'm a believer, but you don't want to hear the, the word of God. Man, it's a problem. You don't know him. Come on. You, you're supposed to delight in God's word. Amen. Jesus, Jesus delights in God's word. Jesus delights in God's word. You're supposed to do the same. Amen. I see many believers that I knew that I walked with them. Now they're running after stranger boys. And they don't want nothing to do with the words of God. Nothing to do. They're running after stranger sounds, strange, strange gospel. Stranger doctrines. They 
you see, it's a, it's a, I use this illustration. We can call it parabola illustration. But they did not understand the things which he spoke to them. They didn't understand by that time, but we understand. Amen. They didn't understand because many, you know, many of those people were farmers. And they are from the countryside. They know that. They knew that. Then Jesus said to them again, Most assuredly, I said to you, I am the door of the sheep. All who, all who ever came before me are thieves. <laughs> you know, he was talking about all the false prophets, false teachers, false religious people. They are thieves and robbers. They happened then, they happen now. Many are the, calling themselves shepherds, teachers. They are robbers, they are thieves, they just want people's money. They are robbers, but the chief did not hear them. I am the door. If anyone enters by me, he will be saved. And the only way is. Jesus Christ, the only way to be saved. Amen. Don't be deceived when they say, hey, you can be saved anyway. Jesus is not the only way. Don't be deceived. And we go in and out and find pasture. That means you'll be secure in Jesus. Only in Him is security. Only him safety nets. Only him. Verse 10. The thief does not come except to steal and to kill and to destroy. I have come that they may have life and that they may have it more abundantly. You see? Jesus came to give us life, good life, okay? The thief promised you good life, but destruction. Mm -hmm. and we're not only talking about the devil here, but we're talking about the false prophets, the false teachers, the false pastors. They all care about themselves. They promise you good thing, but the end of those things they promise to you that are destruction. That's right. Because they're following the devil. Be careful. Don't follow the doctrines. You're not do the doctrine of Christ, don't follow. It doesn't matter how good it made you feel that moment. Discern. Go to the scriptures. The Holy Spirit is in you. He will tell you, no, 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 no. You flesh it, I feel good. Is that that not the gospel? The gospel number of feel good. Amen. I can be in many places that feel good, but that's not the truth. <laughs> you will know the truth. And the truth shall set you free. And the soul set free and free and Amen. I am free. What Amen. about you? Thank you, Jesus. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd gives life for the sheep. Is that it for us? The good shepherd. You know. Come back. The false pastor. False prophet. They care about themselves. They don't care about your life. We're not talking about your life. Not only this life you're living, you know your eternal life. Your eternal life. They don't care about you. You your soul. They do not care. They do not care. They only care about 
what you can give it to them. You know, there were the religious people in the time of Jesus, they care about themselves, what they get from the people. They didn't care about the people's souls. And up and now, many running around saying that they this, they did that they did, the Lord called them, why they taking the people in the wrong way. If they are sent by Jesus, if they are called by Jesus. Verse 12, by hiding them. That's what they are like. They only do it because they get it something. But hiding them. He was not the shepherd. One who does not own the sheep. See the wolf coming and leaves the sheep and flees. And the wolf catches the sheep and he scatters them. But because false shepherd, they leave the sheep in the hands of the devil. Many wolves are there, devouring the sheep. They were in the Old Testament, they are in the New Testament, they were in the, in the Old and the New, and they are now wolves. Remember the Old Testament when the Lord God said, you know, I will take away my sheep from them because they're not, they're not feeding, feeding my sheep. They're not tending them. They're just eating their meat and getting the wolves to cover themselves. Happen now to them. God told them in the, in the Old Testament, Jesus told, spoke to the wolf and the new. The apostle to Paul talk about those wolves come to the church. And it happened now to The hiding flees because he's hiding, he's a hiding, and does not care about the sheep. I knew some of, the, of those. They care about their money, they always money, money, money. They don't see people as the people of God. They see, what I can I have from them? What can I, what if they can bring to me? Verse 14, I am, I am the good shepherd, and I know my sheep, and I know my sheep, and I am known by my own. Amen? Do you Amen. know him? Come on. Do you know your shepherd? Come on. Mm -hmm. if, you, if you know him, you don't follow nobody else. Come on. You don't follow false prophet, false pastor, false doctrines. You only delight in his word. Amen. You only allow to be guided by his word. Thank you, Lord. You see, we, we hear this saying many times. And now how we started, how we finished. Yes. Maybe we started wrong. All of us. But we make sure we finish in the right way. Following our shepherd is following his words, yeah. his guidance, his yeah. leadership. He's saying, See? Yeah, but my husband, yeah, I started in the wrong doctrine. I said, okay, fine, but now you, you know the truth. I used to be wrong, but now, you being still on the right way, follow that way. Amen. It's okay. How you finish? You know, a friend of mine, she was a businesswoman. And she said, in the beginning, she started treating employees wrong. Wrong, 
and, 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 and then she realized. Then I do the same thing my mother used to do. We are employees. And she thought that was right. But then when she came to cry, she said, no, they're not supposed to. He said, Master, you treat you, you serve and right. That's from the Lord. But now how you start, how you finish. Amen. You see, maybe we start in a wrong food. Maybe we start from, uh, and our family didn't guide us right. But now we have the guide and we have the Holy Spirit, we have the shepherd, let follow this. Amen. We, we cannot continue in the wrong. Maybe you, you did wrong yesterday, but you find out that you, you wait yesterday was wrong. Why do you want to continue? Change the course. Amen. The right way. An excuse for us. Right. Yeah, that was the past. We're not, we're not that past no more. I am the best for thing. I am the good shepherd. I know my sheep. And I'm known by my own. Hallelujah. See? If Jesus you shepherd, you know him and you know his voice. Amen. You know, we know God's word well, right. But when you're in communion with him, you know when the Father is speaking, and you know when Jesus is speaking, and you know when the Holy Spirit is speaking. You're in their one. But you know when they want to relate to you, they can as the Father, when they want to, have Jesus as the Son or have the Holy Spirit guided you. And that's something. But you know. But we know God's one. But you know when He comes as a Father to you. And sometimes you know when He comes as the Lord Jesus. And you know sometimes when He comes as the Holy Spirit, you teach it, you mentor, you guide We know that. And that's something. Everything and the Father knows me. <laughs> Even so, I know the Father. And I end down my life for the sheep. He did it. He knew his Father. The Father knew him. Knew him. Do we know him? Persisting and other sheep, uh, which are not of this four, they also I must bring, and they will hear my voice, and there will be one flock and one shepherd. And he was saying this word, talking about the Jews were supposed to be the people of God. Okay, the entire world up, away from that, aside from that corner. But Jesus said, I want to bring them in. That's what we, we came <laughs> in time. He did it. If he can to say all humankind. Amen. Not only the Jews, but the entire souls. And they say it right there. Verse 17. Therefore, my father loved me <laughs> because I laid down my life that I may take it again. We have to lay down our life to, to him, yes. to his will. We do not want to die on the cross to save someone. But we can lay down our life to live for him. Amen. To do his will. And then he do what he needs to do and goes through us. Amen. That's the will of the Father. Yes. Remember, we have to say that. As now we start, how we finish. Amen. And that depending on us, we choose how we finish. Amen. The night is Jesus said it. You will have some obstacles, some rest, resistance, you flesh, the aside, the devil. But you choose 
You trust in God, you will feel your course. Amen. Therefore, my father lost me because I laid down my life to have me take it again. That was verse 17. Amen? Amen. Verse 18, no one take it from me, but I laid it down of myself. You see, that's what we live in sacrifice, remember? Living sacrifice that you say, Lord, I lay down my life for you. Yeah. Not my will, but your will be done. You are my shepherd. I will follow you. You see, you lay down your life. You, but I remember when the Lord said, call me, I took the decision. Yes, he called me, but I took the decision. He called me. And the Lord called me, I took the decision to follow him. Amen. To lay everything behind me. He said, you will, Lord. Nobody pushed me, he didn't push me, he didn't bug me. I didn't want to hear. Amen. You see, I'm still following. Why? You don't think they have uh, resistance? My flesh, sometimes when things was harder, my flesh, dog, what I tell, don't respond to me. The devil, everything, people. I made my mind. I want to follow my shepherd. Amen. Everything I did that, I never said, oh no, I made a wrong decision. No, I made the, the best decision of my life. To follow him. Amen. I let down my I lay it down myself, you see. You see, I have power to let it down. And I have power to take it again. This command I have received from my father. Okay. You see, you can you can decide to. You know, some some people decide to say oh, Jesus come to my heart and they start right there. They don't follow. He said, the Lord said, deny yourself every day. Take your cross. Every day. Every day is a decision Amen. to follow him. I remember when the Lord came to me and said, Enrique, follow me. And he, he said, follow me and start walking. <laughs> I got up and went to follow him, but I just, boom, uh, I found the wall because he went through the wall. But I knew I understood what he said to me. And it wasn't about that moment. It wasn't my life. It was about me, my life to follow him. Forever. Come on. A decision that I took. I understood what he was saying. Hallelujah. Therefore, there was a division again among the Jews because he said, and many of them said he has a demon <laughs> and he said ma <laughs> why did you listen to him that's what people call you they are crazy when you say i'm following jesus you've been deceived you are crazy they call jesus crazy too they call you jesus demon possessed man. you know when you say why do you listen to him? They tell people, why do you listen to Enrique? Don't listen to Enrique. I Let's do others say, these are not the words of one who has a demon. <laughs> Can a demon open the eyes of the blind? Come on. Yeah, because they call Jesus demon possessed. Now, it was the feast of dedication in Jerusalem, 
and it was winter, and Jesus walked in the temple in Solomon's porch. Then the Jews surrounded him and said to him, How long do you keep us in doubt? <laughs> but what they were saying, How long do you want to be bothering us? <laughs> We don't want to listen to you. That's what they were saying. If you are the Christ, tell us plainly. He's been telling them plainly. I am. My father sent me. This is the way, this is the truth. Verse 25, Jesus answered them, I told you, and you do not believe the words that I do in my father's name. They were witness of me. But you do not believe because you are now for my sheep. As I say to you, my sheep hear my voice. Amen. And I know them and they follow me. Hallelujah. If you are a Christian, you believe you follow God's word. And I'm bad. If you say I'm a Christian, you follow Christ's word. You follow the word of God, Amen. Bible. Verse 28, and I give them eternal life in the channel perish. Near shall anyone snatch them out of my hand. You secure in the hands of Jesus. Amen. You secure in the hands of God. Amen. Amen. My father was, my father who has given them to me is greater than all. And no one is able to snatch them out of my father's hand. Don't be afraid. Amen. You are secure in the father's heart. Yes. I and my father are one. Then the youth took up a stone again to stone him. <laughs> Jesus answered them. Many good words I have shown you from my father. For which of those words do you stung me? They asked him for, for sign, he was giving all the signs. They knew the scripture, the, the religious people knew the scripture. Moses, you remember Moses said, said then my father, the father God will raise a prophet like me. Hear him. But they don't want to follow. The Jew answered him, saying, For a good word we do not stone you, but for blasphemy. <laughs> and because you, being man, may you serve God. This answer them, in a written you law. I said, You are God. He called them God to whom the word of God came, and the scripture cannot be broken. You heard that? Amen. The word of God is established in him. Yes. Okay, that means nobody can, can erase it, nobody can break it, nobody can change it. It's established in him. Okay? Uh, uh, the, all these words are really established in him, okay? They can break the Bible, they can put all the Bible away, but the word of God continues being the word of God. Amen. And it's the truth. Amen? Verse 26. Do you say of him whom the Father sanctify and sent into the world, you are blaspheming because I say I am the Son of God? Yeah, I do not do the work of my Father. Do not believe me. But if I do, though you do not believe me, believe the words that you may know and believe that the Father is in me and I in him. Therefore they saw again to see him by his gate out of their heart. They want to kill him anyway. Okay. They want to kill Jesus anyway. They don't want they don't want the truth. But many people they don't want the truth. They have the truth that they prefer attack the messengers to hear the truth. They will attack Jesus. And they continue doing it. 
because they don't want to hear the, the truth. But they call themselves, I'm a Christian. Those religious people were, were saying that they were the, the children of God, the children of Moses. But they was persecuting Jesus. We know what the will of the Father Jesus went to the cross to redeem us. But they, they put their hands on. Because why they put their hands? I mean, not because they want to fulfill God's will, because they hate Jesus because the truth. Amen. Let me repeat verse 29 and, and 30. My Father has given them to me. We belong to God, right? Amen. He's greater than all, and no one is able to snatch them out from my Father's hand. You are secure in the Father's hand. Amen. Don't be afraid to live for Him. Amen. And I and my Father are one. <laughs> And you are one with Jesus and with the Father too. And you are him. And you are him. Amen? Amen. Remember, you are Christ. And Christ is God. <laughs> you are that? You are Christ and Christ is God. You are his precious possession. He loves you. Okay. He gave life for you. You are his chips. You believe that? Amen. He knows you. Believe in him. Follow his leadership. Follow his word. If you are his chief, follow him. Love him. Give your life for him. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus Christ is love. Amen.